I married my wife like most people marry their wife because she was hot, she was beautiful, she was fun, she was smart, she was all those things. But it wasn't till about 10 years after we had been together when I started to think like, oh, you know, like I, I, for the first 10 years I was thinking, well, of course she has no capacity for reason. You know, she's, I, I don't understand a word she said. But then I kept noticing that she was right a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. When, when she, I, and I couldn't I'm understand it. And I started to think, oh, she's actually seeing the world from a different point of view. And that is like putting on those red and blue glasses that suddenly turn the world into three dimensions. You suddenly become one flesh, one person, and you see things in a new and, and deeper and richer way and that to me transforms everything. He's been transformed. Andrew Clavin, author and commentator was on the Daily Wire talking about, of course, I married my wife cuz she's hot. Oh yeah, and then she thinks and all that other stuff. I don't know. Who cares? She was hot though. That's for damn sure. I married her and then it took me 10 years to realize that she has an effing brain. Isn't that weird? You know, I'm such a better person now. I figured out that women have brains. These are the conversations they have about marriage and everything on Daily Wire uh, talks. I guess people listen to and take this kind of advice. Uh, but again, again, in case you guys missed it, let's watch again. It took him 10 years. I married my wife like most people marry their wife because she was hot. For the first 10 years, I was thinking, well, of course, she has no capacity for reason. For the first 10 years, I was thinking, well, of course, she has no capacity for reason. She's, I, I don't understand a word she said. But then I kept noticing that she was right a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. When, when she, I, and I couldn't oh, understand it. She was right a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. When, when she, I, I, and I couldn't oh, understand it. That. And that, to me, transforms everything. Yeah. Transforms everything. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand it. Hey, Yaz, you're not married, uh, but uh, whenever you do get married, you make sure that he's hot. But then maybe ten Why years down the Why would I not have life. a hot husband? <laughs> he's gonna be hot. But I, like, it's just funny to me because. He said that's the reason why most men get married because they want a hot wife, right? That's why most men get married. And what was also interesting was the fact that he said, I couldn't understand anything she was saying and I couldn't understand all these things about her. And he makes it seem like that's her fault, like that's her problem. No, yep. that's you, that's you being incompetent. It's kind of like what we were talking about with Candace Owens, you know? Like she has a revelation, she acts like she's the first one to have ever thought of that thing. Now, like this guy shouldn't be preaching to people, you know, because he's the one who's slow, he's the one who needs help, and he's the one who is incompetent and who, what did he say? Like she has no critical thinking or something like that. Who would have thought? Unbelievable. Insane. She has reason. Yeah, yeah. The fact that she has reason, this is amazing. He's like, oh my God, I couldn't understand how sometimes she's right about things. <laughs> oh. My God, but there's more. He's not the only one. They've got a whole team of relationship advisors over at the Daily Wire. As a matter of fact, it's about marriage specifically. But just keep in mind, remember that same music you heard underneath that apparently was, I guess, is assisted in his speaking. It's used yet again and over and over and over again. Let's watch these guys talk about it. It's probably better to get married when you're young, because then you grow up. If you're still an adolescent by the time you're 40, you're a creep. You're the sort of person that you don't even want to be around. So you don't want to be the oldest person at the frat party. That is not pretty. It's there's something rotten about that, and I, I mean in that in that contemptible sense. If the marriage happens late, this can't happen. The fact that my wife can still look at me as the person who you know was 23 and just out of law school, and she can say, I see through all this crap, right? Like none of this makes a bit of difference to me. Sat through all that crap. All of it through law school. If you're 40 and you uh, still haven't been married yet, you're the creep at the frat party. Hey, um, um, I'm gonna go out on a ledge and say if you're at a frat party at 40, whether or not you're married, divorced, or single, you're still the creep. And why are you at a frat party? What is he talking about? Frat parties, that's where you met your hot wife? Okay, maybe that's the, the case for some folks. All of us are different. But again, there was that sad piano music playing on the bottom. Why is it sad? I thought this is a joyous occasion. Get married, it's, it's 17 years old, hurry up and have babies. The white kind though, they put it at the bottom, sad emotional piano. The editors just go, you know, we have this one song we like to play. Let's put it on all of this stuff. But where's one more of them, Yaz, there's one more. Tucker Carlson likes to also talk about, about marriage too. The only thing we're trying to figure out now is which one of these guys marriage advice would you toss out the window first? You have to choose one, you have to hold on to one of them. <laughs> which one would you hold on to? Let's let Tucker Carlson give his submission. So my advice to young people, particularly young men, is just dive face first into it. Like drop out of college, college is ridiculous. Unless you're moving towards some very specialized degree that you can only get 
in college if you want to be a veterinarian or a physicist or something. But if you're in humanities, you know, I can give you a list of 100 books. You can find it on the internet and you'll be better educated than you would be at whatever stupid college you go to. A. B, get married. And, you know, choose wisely, but don't overthink it. You know, don't overthink it. People overthink it. Like if you're compatible with someone and, and you can smell that, you can make it work. And by the way, it's never easy because men and women fundamentally don't understand each other. That's the whole joy in it. That's why marriage makes you grow is because you don't really understand the other person. So you have to try every day to decipher what that person is saying. You have to decipher what that person is saying every day. What a great marriage. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> It, it makes me very uncomfortable to see Tucker Carlson trying to take on this role of like a sage elder giving this younger man some marital life advice. It's very, it's very uncomfortable. I hate it. I hated watching all of that. <laughs> I, I where to where to start? You know, so I actually just did a video for the breakdown. It was kind of about this, and um, you know, part of it. It's really easy in these kind of conversations to get into like the patriarchy, and you know. Value the value of women in society and in the world and in the family or whatever, you know. And I, I kind of don't like that conversation because I think it detracts from what's actually happening. You know, you're just devaluing people, right? You're saying we're the ones who should be in charge. Everybody else should kind of like fill their own roles in society. You're taking away people's autonomy, right? You're saying you don't have the intelligence or the intellect or whatever to actually make decisions for yourself, right? It doesn't matter if Tucker Carlson thinks I'm making the right decisions for myself. It doesn't matter what he thinks about the way that I live my life, right? But by stifling people and by putting them in a box where you think they should be, you're missing out on everything that person has to offer, right? And we can look at this through you know, a gender or um, sex lens, or we can look at it through a racial lens or a class lens. you know. People don't have equal opportunities in this world, but we shouldn't try to further limit them by just saying, you're a woman, you know, it's fine. Maybe just forgo going to college, just get married as young as possible. So whatever personal growth that you might be going through, whatever personal growth the journey you might be on, we're just gonna stifle it. And you just have to like saddle yourself with some guy. Don't overthink one of the biggest decisions in your life also. <laughs> just just go with it. It's fine. You'll be fine. If you notice that advice that Tucker gives. It, it serves him and the people like him and their party. You know, we, we always notice many of the folks that they've uh, uh, got the, so much support for under the MAGA wing are less educated. Um, so they want people dropping out of college, not going to higher levels of education or thinking for themselves or getting into more professions. You know, they like to push women out of professions as well and say you guys don't belong there. All this goes to just go back home, have kids, the white ones, go back home, have kids, be uneducated and continue to fill us with more people just like you mm -hmm. who will just follow us down the road and continue to keep us in this love, in this power position that we're in. That's the main objective here, grow later. Who cares? Grow with that person that you married that you probably mistakenly married that you now you can't get out of. Have kids with that person. You know, a lot of these we're talking about abortion issues and all that stuff. Many of these are, folks are mothers, are, 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 are have already been married, and then they're in bad relationships or they're having kids they can't afford anymore. All these things they want to ignore. Just go back to being that warm body that we need to help fulfill our powerful aspirations. That's what it all comes down to. That's why they have this whole litany of folks doing this.